The Houston Museum of Natural Science in Fort Bend uses animals of all descriptions to educate children about the world around them. But each Friday and Saturday, the animals become the teachers as canines coach reading. Marion Nixon of Pet Partners explains. The purpose of this program is the museum would like us to encourage the children to read and expand their knowledge on the animals and the universe surrounding them through the books that they have chosen for us to encourage them to read. Now if a child is too little, then we don't care. The animals do not judge. They do not say, you're saying this wrong. This is improper. Don't be walking away from us. We don't care. We give them pictures of each dog to take home and we give them bookmarks that we uh, create so that they will know that the PAUSE reading program is a way to enhance their education, stimulate their learning, and hoping that they become very leaders in uh, the future and better citizens for the United States. Al Dobson describes how he and Jasmine came to be part of the program. Some friends of mine, or a friend of mine, uh, got me involved in it. Uh, she was one of my students when I was doing uh, dog training. And uh, she took it a little bit further, got into the uh, pet partners, and uh, she told me about it one day. And so uh, we just adopted Jasmine at the time. When I was training this one in obedience, I noticed she had a little bit different um, demeanor. This one here went up to people and wanted them to pat her and stuff like that. So. Thought, well, she'd be a good for um, for a uh, therapy dog. So uh, my friend, uh, in fact, she's in this program too. She's the one that has the beagle. She's Diane. She uh, got me going in it and gave me the material, and I started reading it and studying and working with her on it. And then when the time was right, I think it's a six-month period. You have to own the dog, and after that, we. Uh, tested her and also got her uh, tested for a canine good citizen certification. And all work after that. So she loves it. She gets excited when I put her cape on and all that. So she knows she's going to go to work. I come in here um, almost every Friday, not, not quite, but uh, almost every Friday. And I set out her blanket here and I bring some books in case they can't find something here to read. and. We um, uh, read the books, we have to let the kids read the books to her, and she just sits there and listens, uh, teach them how to give, a, give the dog a treat, and how to pat a dog, and, and how to uh, introduce themselves to a dog. And uh, they enjoy just sitting here reading, and nobody um, gives them a problem about it. They read at their own leisure, and, uh, and sometimes those who are too young to read, or we, uh, we go ahead and read it to them. And, uh, but uh, she's full of love, she loves children, and she's always wanting to kiss them, right? <laughs> but um, that's basically what we do, and it's enjoyment for the kids to be able to come in here and read to a, a real animal where they can pat it and, and read it at the same time at their own speed. For more information about the PAWS reading program, visit the museum's website at www.hnns.org. To learn more about Pet Partners, visit www.petpartners.org. For Celebrate Reading, I'm Stacy Hawkins.